Hi guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to the fourth video of this tutorial series. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the IB outlets and the IB actions. So let's just create a new project and get started. Open up Xcode and click on new project, single view app. I'm going to call this um, events next and I'm going to create this in my um, tutorial directory. Awesome. Create. Let's head over to our main.storyboard. We're going to be designing a very simple application just to test out our knowledge. So uh, first of all, let's add a switch to our view. If you're like me and you love using shortcuts, then just hold Command, Shift, and L. It's going to bring up your library. So just click, drag, switch down to our view right over here. And let's add our constraints to the top and left. Next, we're going to add a label. So label, click, drag. We're going to bring this right down here to the center of the screen and anchor it to our center horizontally. And then we're going to give it the top constraint of, well, let's say 72. Next, we're going to have a text field right at the center of the, of the screen. So click, drag down here well close to the center and we're going to constrain this to the left and right let's make this like uh, let's say a 20 and 20 like this then the next thing we're going to do is add a button so just add a button like that right here now the button is going to be centered so I'm going to control drag and hold my shift key select this and this awesome so let's update our frame and finally we're going to add constraints for the text field to the button so click here and then you can set this to be well let's use 20 great so basically what I want us to achieve is whenever you toggle the switch on, I want the background of the view to be white. Whenever you toggle it off, I want it to be black. Okay. Now I also want us to be able to enter some text here, our name. And when you click on this button, our name should be displayed on this label, right? Just very simple. Now, before we actually get started with code, let's add a placeholder here just so that you know what you're going to do. Enter your name. Then here, you're going to say um, submit. Awesome. I'm going to I'm going to make this text empty just so that at launch or now nah, let's just say welcome. Beautiful. Now, if we actually run this code, we're going to see that the application is not going to do anything per se. It's going to run. We're going to see the design on the screen, but clicking on the button or toggling the switch is not going to do anything. Let's see that now. So we have our view. If I toggle, nothing happens. If I write some text in our text field, nothing happens. If I click on the submit button, nothing happens. Even clicking on the view, nothing happens. So all of this is going to change in a bit. In order to add actions or events to our application, we actually need to write code. Now, if we go over to our storyboard and uh, click on this view controller, come over here to our identity inspector. We can see over here that this view controller is connected to a class called view controller, which is what we can find right over here. So we're just going to open up view controller and this is where we're going to write our code. But before then, I'm going to explain what is referred to as the view lifecycle. So in the last video, we talked about the application lifecycle. This time, we're going to talk about the view lifecycle. The first method in our lifecycle is the view did load. This method is actually executed only once whenever the view is loaded. An example of task we might want to execute at this instance is making our initial network call or probably setting up some configurations for our views. 
Okay. Now the next uh, method is our view will appear. And this method is executed just before the view is presented to the user. Now one difference between the view will appear and the view did load is that the view will appear can be executed multiple times. So if you leave this view and come back, the view will appear is going to be executed again. The next method we have is our view will layout subviews. So the thing is, whenever a views bound changes, the view adjusts the position of its subviews. And um, just before that happens, the view will layout subview executes. Okay? And just after the subviews have been adjusted, the view did layout subviews is executed. So after laying out subviews, finally our view did appear method is executed. And this simply means that our view has been presented to the user. Okay? Awesome. Now, whenever we try to exit a particular view, the first method that is executed is the view will disappear. And a couple of things we could do in this method may include um, hiding our keyboard, canceling our network request, uh, probably reverting um, views or animations, you know, just whatever you want to do before your view disappears. Immediately after the view disappears, the next method that is executed is the view did disappear. And I'm sure you guessed that. And as I said, it's executed just after a view disappears. Enough talk, let's get down to business. So if you look over here, we can see that we actually don't have any connection to our um, storyboard. So the first thing we need to do is actually initiate a connection so that we can we have access to our um, labels and switches and switch and button. Okay, so to do that, we're just going to go straight to our storyboard. And we're going to open up something called our assistant editor. And to do that, I'm just going to click on this icon over here and select assistant. Awesome. Now, you can see over here that this is our view and this is our storyboard. And if for one reason or the other, you don't have your view controller open, just click on this icon automatic and then click on view controller. Awesome. So now what we want to do is connect this switch to our view controller. And to do that, all we need to do is, first of all, click on this view. You can make sure you're selected by looking over here. And then hold down control, click, and drag it down to your view and release it. Now, if you look here, you can see connection type is an outlet. So we're using an outlet just because we want to be able to modify the property of this particular control. Okay? So uh, we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this um, toggle switch. Then click connect. All right? And just like that, we've created a connection between our view controller class and our um, storyboard, our view controller in the storyboard. So we're going to do the same thing for our um, other controls. We're going to add, so control click, drag this to our view controller. And we're going to call this, um, let's call this title label. Do the same thing for our name, like that. We'll call this uh, name field. And finally, our submit button. But now, for the submit button, I really don't need to modify the property of this button. What I need to do, though, is to add an action to the button so that whenever the, the button is clicked, I want to perform a particular action. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Control click, drag this. But this time I'm going to drag it down to the body. And instead, notice that instead of outlet, we're actually going to be using the action. And then we're going to give this a name as um, submit button clicked. Then finally, the type, I'm going to select the type as a UI button. Now, if you look over here, you can see um, a text touch up inside. Now, this is actually a list of different events that um, the button can execute. So did end on exit, editing changed, editing did begin, touch canceled, touch down. But one that we use mostly is our um, touch up inside. So 
it simply means that you you clicked on the button so I'm gonna leave that selected and finally click connect and we're done so all of our controls have been connected to our storyboard and with that we can go straight into our view controller and everything is there but before that there's there are a couple of things I'd like to point out a couple of mistakes that uh, we could make as a beginner now imagine that we want to change the title of this label so we want to change it to let's call it header label so this is a common mistake that most people do or make at the beginning they think that whenever they modify this name that it actually takes effect in our view controller but the thing is by doing this change we've actually broken our code and if we attempt to run this program or run the application it's going to break because this is no longer connected to our view controller we're gonna see that in a minute so if you look over here we can see that the application crashed and if we go over to our log right at the top we can see that it says no key value coding compliant for the key title label the reason is title is connected from storyboard but there is no reference to there is no reference to title in our view controller so another way we can see this is if we right click on our view controller class we can see that there is a warning right over here it's saying view controller does not have an outlet name title label so whenever you make changes to your view controller outlet what you need to do is update your um, outlet in the storyboard so I'm just gonna cancel this and then we're gonna go back okay right over here we can see our um, view our outlet rather from our storyboard what we could do is click on this plus button and drag it straight down to our label okay we can do this we could also drag it to our label over here and it's gonna connect or create the connection like that you can see it's connected okay now another way we could see this is if we look over here we can see that this is actually highlighted it's filled the circle is filled if there wasn't any connection it's going to be um, clear so let's actually try that but if, uh, one thing to note about this is is not always very accurate I've actually encountered circumstances where um, it wasn't connected but it was still filled but anyways let's let's try it and see what it looks like so I've disconnected the header and if you look over here you can see that the header is no longer connected okay so we could uh, we could again click on this plus and drag it to our um, header like that so I've actually showed you a couple of ways that you can connect your um, controls to your view controller okay and now let's jump back into our view controller this is where the real fun begins haha <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is whenever you click on the submit button, we want to get the text from the name field and update the text in our header label. All right? How do you propose we do that? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button and I guarantee you it's going to work. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. So anyways, to do that, the first thing we need to do is let's create a constant called name. And this is going to be our name field dot. We need to get a property from our name field called text. Now notice text is optional, so we need to unwrap this. We could use the bang, or we could just save unwrap, which is an option I always prefer. Now we have access to our name. The next thing we need to do is update our header label. And um, to do that, we're just gonna say header label, uh oh, label dot the text property again, equal, and let's use a concept we learned from our previous series string interpolation and I'm just gonna say your ah, let's just say welcome welcome and then we're gonna pass in the name of the user like that let's run this to see what we've got so if we click over here I'm gonna write my name manual 
click on the submit button and welcome manual it works as it should just like that we've completed our first task now notice something we have our keyboard showing but when we click all over the screen nothing happens right I'd want this to hide and again let's even change this text just to be sure that it works okay it does so anyways we need to be able to resign our keyboard whenever we click on the view to do that is very easy as well all we need to do is um, write in touches began so we need this method touches began and simply we're gonna resign um, the first responder from the name field to do that we're gonna say name field dot resign first responder like that so when we do this we run it again you click on the um, text field and you write your text if you click outside and the keyboard goes away immediately isn't that great awesome the next thing we need to do is to toggle the color of the background whenever we toggle the switch on and off okay now as you've guessed we actually need to create a reference an IB action from our switch toggle to the view controller how do we do that I'm sure you know open up your storyboard and um, we go to our switch let's scroll over here add one space click control click drag it right over here and this should be an action let's call this um, switch toggled I'm gonna select type as UI switch value change notice this so I, I want this to be executed whenever the value of the switch changes so we're gonna click on connect awesome let's get back to our view controller great so at this point we are notified whenever the switch toggles so what do we want to do we want to update the background color of the um, view so the first thing we need to do is know the state of the toggle we could just do a simple if and um, we just say if sender which is our UI switch dot is on so if our toggle is on we want to execute this code else we want to execute this code and basically whenever the switch is on all we want to do is say self dot view dot our background color <coughs> excuse me please help me yeah so our background color should be equal to dot white just like that now whenever the switch is off all we want to do is say self dot view dot background color should be equal to dot black now there's something we need to know because our color is black anyways let's not make this too complicated I'm just gonna make this a dark gray but what I was trying to say is whenever we make it a black remember that the text of our label our header label is black so it's gonna appear invisible so we might want to do something like say header label dot um, text color please hand me good equals dot and then would say something like uh, dot white you know this is what I wanted to say so anyways let's run this and see if we have it working or not great so we're gonna click on this toggle and you can see that it actually worked we're gonna to toggle it back on and it works awesome so we've actually successfully connected our IB outlet and our IB action feel free to add more controls to our view and just play around with the different properties that are available you can add some more buttons and add some more effects you could even create your own calculator just for a test for show and uh, feel free to leave a comment and again please don't forget to subscribe see you guys in the next video